samples, we found poorly produced fakes. Real fresh, they serve it in plastic bags. Yep. Any gamey flavors by squeezing it with a bundle of lemon. Food fraud has become a big business in China. Driven by greed, Chinese manufacturers have flooded the market with counterfeit and contaminated foods, duping consumers seeking safe, quality meals for their families. From fake eggs to gutter oil, join us as we uncover 15 scary counterfeit foods in China. Number 15, rice that is not actually rice. From aromatic jasmine rice to sweet sticky rice, this nutritious ancient grain in its countless varieties is woven into cuisines and food traditions across the world. Where the subtle differences in flavor, fragrance, and texture between types of rice may be as important as differences between wines. However, in China, one of the most disconcerting examples of food fraud involves the production of fake or artificial rice. This synthetic imposter made from ingredients like potatoes, sweet potatoes, and even plastic manages to closely resemble the delicate grain in appearance. When cooked, however, it remains unpleasantly hard in texture. This fraudulent product has flooded Chinese markets over the last decade, stirring great unease among consumers. The motives behind manufacturing counterfeit rice are purely economic. Producing synthetic rice from cheap components like plastic resin allows unscrupulous businesses to profit immensely. The difference in production costs between real and fake rice means counterfeiters can sell their products at competitive market prices while enjoying huge profit margins. Their fake rice is visibly indistinguishable from genuine rice to the average consumer in its raw form. This intentional deception regarding the rice's quality and composition is done with complete disregard for public health. The consumption of synthetic rice imparts severe health risks thanks to its artificial ingredients. Ingesting plastic resin can wreak havoc on the digestive system and damage organs like the liver and kidneys. The inedible plastic also poses potential carcinogenic effects if consumed regularly. According to some reports, eating just three bowls of plastic fake rice equates to consuming an entire plastic bag. Beyond these frightening health implications, fake rice also provides no nutritional value whatsoever. Authorities in China have desperately tried to keep up with this rapid proliferation of rice fraud. Stricter food safety laws with harsher penalties have been enacted to deter counterfeiters. Certain provinces have witnessed raids on illegal fake rice operations, confiscating thousands of tons of the hazardous product since 2010. However, the complexity of China's food supply chains and regulatory loopholes continue to allow this food fraud to endure in many areas. Number 14. The Toxic Tofu Tofu is a beloved staple in many Asian cuisines, adding a smooth, rich creaminess and an adaptable yet nutritious bait to delicate dishes, ranging from Japanese miso soups to spicy Sichuanese mapo dufu. However, even this basic dietary staple has become contaminated by hazardous chemicals in the name of greater profitability in China. Several tofu manufacturers have been found unlawfully using industrial compounds to reduce production costs and accelerate processing times, compromising safety for economic incentives. This chemical-laced tofu has dire effects on human health when ingested, ranging from acute food poisoning to longer-term diseases like cancer. One particularly notorious case occurred in 2012 involving factories in Guangdong province. Investigators were appalled to discover these plants applying a banned bleaching agent called rongolite during tofu production. Rongolite has been prohibited from food processing for over a decade due to its toxicity. However, adding it to soybean curds can speed up coagulation dramatically. It also lent the tofu a more appealing polished white appearance to attract buyers. Their banned medications have also alarmingly shown up in some tofu brands. One such substance is lean meat powder which can impressively augment tofu texture and consistency. But like rongolite, lean meat powder can inflict severe food poisoning. Extended exposure often leads to lasting health consequences like heart palpitations, excessive sweating, and organ damage. Despite the extreme risks to public well-being, the profits to be gained by accelerating tofu output have pushed certain immoral players to introduce these dangerous chemicals secretly. However, 
The consequences of these harsh compounds entering the food chain are severe. Their damaging health impacts range from the short-term symptoms of digestive illness to the longer-term destruction of vital bodily systems. Diseases like organ failure, neurological disorders, and cancer may manifest over years of exposure. Combating the spread of toxic tofu requires a multi-pronged strategy in China. Stricter screening mechanisms during manufacturing are needed to keep pace with unethical innovations by producers. Number 13. Counterfeit Alcohol From French cognacs to Scottish whiskies, alcoholic beverages around the world are crafted with nuance, complexity, and cultural tradition. The terroir, aging, and production processes create distinct flavors as important connoisseurship as in fine wines. However, in China, alcoholic beverages have become another prime target for counterfeiters, encompassing both cheaper liquors disguised in premium branding and toxic alcohol adulterated with industrial liquids to increase profits. Fake alcohol production has surged over recent years, causing a parallel spike in safety risks and consumer deaths. By some accounts, over 30% of Chinese liquor may fall into this hazardous counterfeit category now. Bottom-shelf spirits are obtained at low cost in the typical scam, then packaged and labeled as expensive name-brand alcohol. This exploits the willingness of certain demographics to pay premium prices for status drinks. However, an even more alarming method involves diluting genuine liquor with highly toxic methanol or industrial-grade alcohol. Methanol is considerably cheaper than ethanol alcohol fit for human consumption. However, it takes only tiny amounts of methanol ingestion to cause permanent blindness, seizure, or death in cases of overexposure. Hence, laws around using methanol in liquor are extremely strict. However, the stellar profits and black market demand drive criminal elements to skirt these laws. Usually, the hybrid mix of real and toxic alcohol is chemically engineered to sufficiently mimic the flavor profile and mouthfeel of authentic liquor. For all but the most refined connoisseurs, the counterfeits can thus pass initial muster until severe symptoms emerge after consumption. In response to rising numbers of public health incidents and even deaths attributed to toxic alcohol, Chinese authorities have tightened regulations and penalties around unlawful liquor production. Tax stamps and import restrictions make transshipping foreign fakes more difficult. However, policing domestic production across numerous small distilleries proves more challenging. For ordinary citizens, using trusted retailers and avoiding deals that seem too good to be true is prudent advice. Because the stakes with counterfeit alcohol can become a matter of life and death. Number 12. Fake Duck Blood Products Duck blood is an unusual and perhaps startling culinary ingredient for many. However, coagulated duck blood adds a unique rich umami flavor and gelatinous texture to specialized dishes like the famous duck blood soup in certain Chinese provinces. This eccentric delicacy made from the dark red blood of ducks has a strange appeal as a regional favorite. Yet even this oddity of a menu item has become a victim of food fraud in China. Cheats have sold substitute duck blood and toxic thickeners to unwitting vendors and consumers, compromising safety for profits even around this unconventional dish. This undermines consumer safety while damaging the reputation of authentic local duck blood soup producers simultaneously. The motivation revolves around the significant price difference between expensive premium duck blood and cheaper cow-pig substitutes. By disguising cheaper blood as duck blood, substantial profits stand to be earned. However, additional chemicals like formaldehyde may also be introduced so the blood substitutes congeal properly during cooking. While aiding texture, such compounds are highly poisonous to humans. The harms of toxic thickeners and chemicals include severe digestive illness or potential long-term mortality issues like cancers or organ deterioration. Formaldehyde especially is known to wreak extensive havoc through the body when consumed even in small amounts over time. Identification relies heavily on the expertise of restaurant owners sourcing their ingredients from reliable select vendors. However, Average customers would need help to differentiate real from artificially thickened fake blood during the service of the final soup dish. This underscores the importance of both trustworthy supply chains and food regulation enforcement when health-damaging motives underpin an ingredient substitution scheme. Number 11. Toxic Wax Eggs 
While chicken eggs are a common dietary choice worldwide, China is dealing with a unique challenge, food fraud targeting even the most ordinary eggs. Introduce yourself to the realm of wax eggs, a deceptive imitation that has found its way into circulation in the country. These convincing fakes are constructed from inedible compounds like wax, resins, coagulants, and calcium carbonate. Toxic chemicals are also added to improve the egg mimicking effect. The products closely resemble real eggs in texture, appearance, and even taste initially. However, ingestion over time can cause severe neurological illnesses like dementia or organ failure. Production of these fake eggs is elaborate and meticulous. First, convincing eggshells are formed by pouring wax compounds into a mold. These shells are then filled with manufactured whites and yolks, crafted from gelling agents, alum powder, and chemical colorants. Complex mixing ratios are used so the final mixture solidifies into a viscous gel with an egg-like texture. The synthetic eggs also feature faux blood vessels and egg yolk membranes to perfect the illusion. The motivation is purely monetary. Wax eggs are far cheaper to fabricate once initial investment into required materials is made. Yet they can be sold to unsuspecting consumers and retailers for the same price as real eggs. This results in sizable profit margins for the counterfeiters, despite the health hazards being introduced into communities. In terms of identification, the fraudulent eggs do demonstrate minor imperfections on close inspection. Their unnatural smoothness and symmetrical shapes offer a clue. The lack of an inner membrane lining compared to genuine eggs is another indicator. However, wax eggs still require cooking to definitively confirm their inauthenticity. Frying the dubious ingredients reveals their synthetic properties through melted plastic odors, for instance. Food safety authorities have desperately tried curtailing this wax egg trade, but persistent production and distribution continue. Ultimately, the onus remains on citizens as well to protect themselves. Purchasing eggs only from trusted local sources instead of bulk unlabeled cartons can help avoid encountering these dangerous artificial imposters. Because the criminals fabricating wax eggs prioritize money over integrity or public welfare. Number 10. Rat Meat Kebabs from Turkish shish kebabs to Persian kebabs, the sizzling array of meats grilled on skewers has long held an important place in Middle Eastern and Asian food cultures and cuisine. However, in China, the meat products that make up these iconic kebabs have disturbingly become prime targets for unscrupulous operators to secretly substitute counterfeit variants while claiming normalcy, defrauding consumers of an authentic cultural dining experience for greater profits. A recurrent issue involves processing remains of street rodents, stray cats, or waste-feeding birds to resemble common meats instead. Examples of fake mutton pork kebabs derived from feral animal flesh highlight unethical extremes certain vendors descend to chase profits. The meats concerned pose various disease risks if consumed especially without adequate hygiene protocols. However, general consumer deception itself also imparts damaging social effects over time. As with other scams, financial incentives principally spur this unethical practice rather than isolated moral deficiency. Lower input costs to obtain discarded animal remains compared to livestock translate into a bigger profit ratio potential. Some fraudsters have progressed to more sophisticated tactics too like chemically altering colors, textures, and flavors to better mimic authentic meat profiles. Without extensive supply chain auditing rural regions especially, prevention mechanisms lag behind identified cases. The dangers described should worry all Chinese citizens considering food integrity interlinks with social integrity ultimately. Every small deceit normalizes a broader culture of distrust, worry, and isolation if left unchecked. And unlike transient financial gains, trust once lost stands far harder to recover across communities. Hence, the urgency for moral education and ethical behavioral modeling alongside enforcement. So integrity becomes integral to commerce rather than an optional accessory. Polluting lives for profits only leads a nation to decay, whereas valuing well-being above wealth enriches it forever. Number 9. Gutter Oil Although recycling is a commendable initiative, it's disconcerting that in China, 
There's a particularly alarming practice where waste oil from gutters, sewers, and drains is recycled into gutter oil for use in cooking. The name refers to its literal sourcing from tainted drainage systems. However, clever processing removes grime and odor to yield products visibly resembling fresh premium oil to most customers. Predictably, long-term ingestion causes severe illnesses like cancers or organ damage. Gutter oil production is only viable because waste oil is free to obtain in vast quantities, yet can be refined via various methods and then resold as if new. This generates immense profit margins for unscrupulous operators, with estimates that 1 in 10 establishments could be utilizing gutter oil due to the financial incentives involved. Though banned years ago, underground trade continues flourishing. Health consequences primarily impact digestive and immune systems initially as foreign contaminants are introduced. However, consequences accumulate over years of exposure to ultimately trigger aggressive cancers, complete organ failures, and other life-threatening conditions. The true scope of harm is likely underestimated too given the trade's illicit, obscured nature. Improved oil testing helps identify some gutter oil batches by chemical composition, but crafty operators continuously tweak tactics to avoid detection. Ultimately, Chinese authorities must vastly strengthen oversight and policing surrounding used oil collection to cut off accessibility to these hazardous ongoing supplies because gutter oil fraud enriches a few while jeopardizing the wellness of many. Number 8. Counterfeit Noodles Among the list of food frauds, even noodles made from common staples like rice or potatoes have regrettably become a target. Callous manufacturers have created counterfeit noodles from artificial substitutes and chemical additives to reap bigger profits. These hazardous fakes then get intermingled with authentic products, posing big risks to public health through long-term consumption. A prime aim of the counterfeiters is to mimic the texture, taste, and appearance of real noodles at a fraction of the cost. To accomplish this, potato or corn starches replace genuine rice flour as the main ingredient. An array of stabilizers and enhancers are added to improve viscosity, brightness, and moisture content as well. Most alarmingly, Illegal industrial compounds have been unrestrainedly used for processing and preservation. These include sulfur dioxide, benzoates, and artificial coloring agents strictly prohibited in the food industry. While offering visual and textural improvements, they erode product safety and consumer well-being. Health consequences stemming from regular intake of such chemicals are severe. They range from skin irritation, vomiting nausea, breathing abnormalities, and kidney dysfunction. The harmful preservatives can also accumulate over months of exposure, eventually triggering cancers or complete organ shutdown. In 2013, a huge hidden operation producing poisonous rice noodles was raided in Guangdong, run secretly for over a decade. To combat this counterfeit scourge, China desperately needs enhanced traceability mechanisms, stringent regulations, and vastly stronger enforcement. But public awareness is equally key so customers can recognize frauds and make informed purchasing decisions that prioritize health over profits. Because ultimately, noodles adulterated by avarice should never displace trustworthy, responsible brands. Number 7. Pesticide-laden fake honey. Honey, an ancient culinary delight enjoyed by humans for centuries, faces a disconcerting challenge within China's intricate food landscape insidious adulteration for the sake of profit. One widespread issue is fake honey cut with sweeteners or illegal additives being trafficked domestically and abroad. Chinese honey is notoriously contaminated too, containing antibiotics and heavy metals exacerbating food safety concerns globally. In a tactic dubbed honey laundering, Chinese honey merchants have added dangerous pesticides along with cheap fructose syrups or molasses to reduce costs then mislabeled containers as pure honey for export. Poorer grades have been laundered and repackaged via intermediate Asian ports to circumvent import restrictions and duties. Although detection mechanisms have advanced, tainted honey still reaches shelves worldwide, posing health risks ranging from organ damage to cancer through bioaccumulation over the years, depending on the substances added. Motives again point towards profits triumphing over ethics, Diluting and contaminating honey with sugars, additives, and toxins allows batches to be created faster and sold cheaper. 
Applying false labels then permits higher prices to be commanded internationally, circumventing trade barriers in the process. The reward system fundamentally encourages this fraud without matching deterrence. Scrutiny is thus essential for importing nations and consumers alike when sourcing Chinese honey-based products. Policing agencies must probe authenticity, while buyers should analyze labeling for legitimacy and safety assurances. Alternatives like purchasing accredited local honey rather than imported bulk products can also sidestep the complex issue entirely. Because ultimately when it comes to public health, prevention is the most powerful protection. Number 6. Synthetic Pepper and Spices In the relentless pursuit of profit, even basic spices and seasonings have become targets of food fraud. Criminals have manufactured fake pepper made from compressed mud or tree bark, dyed to resemble true peppercorns. Known cases have also involved fake spices derived from colored corn and potato flour, orchestrated with the help of counterfeit spice packaging. On the surface, these schemes seem almost harmless and absurd. However, unbeknownst to many, these synthetic seasonings can seriously endanger health in both the short and long term. When selected spices sell at a premium, the incentive arises for immoral players to substitute cheaper filler ingredients while charging the same high prices. Most concerningly, hazardous chemicals are sometimes added to maximize visually deceptive qualities or preserve the fake's texture and color. In the short term, ingesting such unknown chemicals poses risks spanning from skin irritation, violent nausea, breathing struggles, and temporary organ problems. But over years of gradual exposure, the real damage emerges. Experts warn that accumulated toxicity can potentially trigger cancers, neurological deterioration, liver failure, and kidney disease. Catching synthetic spices remains an immense challenge as well in China's convoluted food chains. Their microscopic size and mixing with authentic spices make differentiation near impossible for unsuspecting consumers. In a largely unregulated environment, the onus falls more on individuals to protect themselves through smart purchasing decisions, scrutinizing prices and quality, buying from reputable sellers, and relying on spice brands with trusted supply chain oversight are some of the best preventative measures. Ultimately, health should never be sacrificially exchanged purely to boost profit ratios. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Pork constitutes one of the most widely consumed and culturally integral meats across the world. Its tender and flaky texture has made it a keystone ingredient within numerous beloved national dishes for generations. When paired with salty marinades or sweet barbecue glazes, the versatile meat delivers a rainbow of beloved flavors too. Hence, pork enjoys massive demand globally as a protein source that still symbolizes prosperity and health for many households. However, in China, exploitative criminals have remorselessly tainted pork's reputation by deliberately disguising it as pricier beef instead to fetch higher profits. Unscrupulous factories have controversially soaked lower-cost pork in dangerous industrial solutions until it resembles beef to the naked eye. Outrageously, some have even introduced wax, harmful stabilizers, and additives to further this deception. These hazardous chemicals pose health threats over time if consumed. But more disturbing is how Muslims and faith groups prohibiting pork intake have been force-fed it indirectly against their will or knowledge. The deception strikes directly at religious freedoms and consumer consent worldwide. It has also bred immense distrust of meat supplies internationally, hurting entire industries in the process. Equally alarmingly, bargain-priced meats like fox, mink, and even rat have been secretly substituted to replace lamb or duck flesh at times in Chinese cuisine. These inferior cuts doused in chemicals and gelatins to modify their appearance deceive buyers while risking the spread of novel diseases and infections. Are you worried about fake food becoming a problem in your home country too? What do you think should be done to stop this from happening? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Gelatin Injected Seafood from sea bream and tuna freshly caught each dawn to prized aged delicacies like katsuobushi, seafood plays a venerable role in cuisines spanning the globe, with sushi masters and fishmongers selecting ingredients based on subtle grades of freshness, flavor, and texture. However, in China, 
Even common seafood like shrimp and fish have become targets for deceit, with a disturbing trend involving injecting animal protein, starch or other additives into aged seafood to improve visual freshness and moisture for greater profits. However, the substances used are themselves toxic over time, while disguising actual freshness. This puts unsuspecting consumers at long-term health risk. The additives lend old, dried shrimp renewed plumpness and sheen to command higher sales prices. Operators source discarded seafood, then enhance both appearance and weight cost effectively compared to selling the original inferior product. Short-term financial incentives thus drastically override health or ethical considerations. However, regular consumption of these chemicals has been linked to issues like digestive illnesses, breathing abnormalities, and even cancer development over months and years. Furthermore, the practice misleadingly conceals actual freshness and quality, meaning bacteria or parasites could be lurking within old seafood as well. Identifying manipulated seafood remains challenging for everyday customers though, especially once additives have been applied. Scrutinizing texture and scent can reveal clues, but uncertainty looms without supply chain transparency. Ultimately, the combination of ethics, health risks, and consumer deception implicated means China must urgently strengthen accountability surrounding seafood production and distribution channels. Because fundamental public trust stands jeopardized when basic foods become tools for fraud. Number 4. Toxic Milk Products In China, dairy products like milk powder and infant formula notoriously become tainted over the last 15 years by hazardous chemicals, triggering immense public health crises. Most infamously in 2008, the industrial chemical melamine was discovered in powdered baby formulas, eventually hospitalizing 54,000 infants. At least six premature deaths also resulted. However, the scandal reached deeper than isolated misdeeds by a single dairy enterprise. Massive institutional corruption and regulatory dysfunction enabled contamination to persist undiscovered for months despite complaints. The tragedy illuminated gaping vulnerabilities surrounding food oversight, while eroding consumer trust deeply. It underscored the human costs when ethical responsibility gets abandoned for profits and national pride. In essence, melamine was deliberately added into milk and powders to artificially boost nitrogen content detected during quality testing. Elevated nitrogen levels misleadingly signaled higher protein content, allowing substandard products to pass screening. Protein determines market pricing, presenting financial incentives to cheat tests through nitrogen manipulation. Melamine possessed high levels of this desired elemental nitrogen. It was considerably cheaper than actual nutrients too, improving profit margins. However, melamine causes critical health repercussions like kidney stones and organ damage when ingested, especially by vulnerable infants. Chinese authorities only investigated public reports of sick babies months later under international scrutiny, by which point almost 300,000 victims had emerged across China. Domestic regulation failures had enabled melamine's rapid nationwide diffusion while suppressing vital early warnings. Ultimately, over 2,000 dairy product batches across dozens of brands were found containing melamine and related contaminants. Harsh food safety laws were eventually enacted in response to mass arrests. But this reactive legalistic approach lost sight of the underlying ethical decay enabling the disaster originally. Because lasting change necessitates proactive moral education alongside strong enforcement, so integrity guides business and regulatory conduct, not legal minimums alone. Number 3. Cement-Filled Walnuts Bizarrely, even ordinary nuts have spawned a peculiar food fraud phenomenon in China hollowed walnut shells packed with substitute filler to boost profits. Typically, only walnut kernels carry value for consumers, making shells disposable. However, some vendors ingeniously recycle discarded shells in their scams by installing heavy, cheap fillers within. Inedible ingredients like concrete fragments have posed health hazards while illustrating an astonishing deficiency of scruples among certain sellers. Operational simplicity lets perpetrators double earnings from walnuts profitably. Initially, the authentic kernels are removed and sold conventionally. But rather than discarding now worthless shells, these are stuffed with hard filler media via holes and then plugged over deceptively. 
The shells effectively gain recycled value, with added weight meaning bumped pricing far exceeding filler material costs. When fakes reach unsuspecting shoppers, tooth damage, choking, or digestive obstruction can occur if accidentally consumed amid normal snacking. Though absurd, the stakes highlight how when greed for profit surpasses conscience or empathy, eventually innocent parties suffer consequences. Catching stuffed shells relies partly on awareness, inspection, and skepticism from buyers themselves, rather than assuming all vendors share ethical business standards. Learning common indicators like subtle glue stains around shell seams can reveal tampering. However, ultimately the long-term solution entails deterring exploitative behavior from spreading among industry players. Comprehensively upgrading standards through positive incentives and accountability would help morally realign business culture over time rather than negatively punishing a few individuals reactively. Because integrity in commerce should arise from inner truth instead of outward punishment. Number two, industrial salt. Among Chinese food frauds, even basic table salt has been secretly replaced with toxic industrial salt unfit for human consumption, spawning major health repercussions over time. Industrial salt is intended for manufacturing uses like leather tanning or metal cleaning. Harmful impurities within pose risks spanning hypertension, stroke, or kidney dysfunction if ingested daily. This has not deterred unethical companies from exploiting lax oversight to distribute it illicitly. However, deception and profits override welfare concerns. Cost variance largely enables the practice. Industrial salt retails for a fraction of the price of purified table salt. By misrepresenting cheap, inedible salt as a consumable product, malfeasant entities pocket substantial earnings differences. Without effective policing, regulatory loopholes persist, allowing large-scale mislabeling and sales through middlemen. In recent years, Chinese authorities have raided major underground operations, including fake soy sauce enterprises, employing dangerous industrial salt within their processes. But proliferation continues given the financial incentives left in place currently. Consumption consequences may materialize gradually over the years, but ultimately turn severe. Toxic metals like lead and cadmium accumulate within organs and slowly induce tissue destruction. Cancers, neurological dysfunction, or permanent biological damage can manifest. Dangers impact whole populations once disguised salts infiltrate broader food systems unknowingly via processing into secondary products. From a preventative standpoint, China must therefore greatly intensify efforts in supply chain accountability and warehouse audits and emphasize health slash safety over profitability clinically. Because behind the impersonal chemical names, real people pay steep costs from dangerous greed enabled by detachment. Number one fake peas. Within China's agricultural system, inedible substances have alarmingly been used to alter food colors deceptively, introducing health and ethical risks. One notable case in 2010 involved dyeing regular soybeans an appealing green with a banned industrial dye. The soybeans were then marketed as fresh green peas to naive customers. Beyond obvious fraud implications, the dyes employed have been tied to cancers with long-term ingestion. The situation exemplified how, when integrity is abandoned, eventually everyone except the deceivers loses. The prime motivator was financial, as with other Chinese food adulteration schemes. Coloring lower-cost grains using cheap additives boosted net resale profits over actual higher-value green vegetables. Trading ethics for revenues lured certain distributors to ignore the health risks the illegal dye substances posed. Ironically, chemical enhancements backfired anyway once authorities uncovered the local deception operation amid public tip-offs of abnormal peas not softening during cooking. However, related dye incidents have likely evaded scrutiny elsewhere already. Broadly combating the crisis requires collective national realization that every deception not only harms innocents, but also erodes social trust bonds long-term. Poisonous dyes represent only a symptom of a deeper moral crisis where human welfare gets discounted against temporary gains. While strengthened legal enforcement helps, China's future equally hinges on revitalizing its cultural ethics from the grassroots level up. A healthy society flows from truthful individuals foremost, not detached oversight alone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.